Okay, so I think we're good to go, basically. We just had to check our campaign here. Horrors of Bordheim, one war band divided three strike teams, while the other is scattered randomly around the area. Ooh, that sounds not good. We're caught exploring buildings, other ones divided three strike teams. Caught exploring buildings, while the other one deploys a little tightly around his wagon. This one isn't too bad. Uh, how we doing? Who do we got out here? Yeah, we should be okay. Should be okay to go for on a hard mission? I think. Find out. <laughs> We're about to find out. Exploring one of the city's old residential districts, you quickly discover that you aren't alone. Another warband is looting the nearby buildings. Dispersed in the ruins, the scavengers present an inviting target for your warriors as they deploy near your wagon. Uh, only need to get two people and their tokens, Constantine and Bartolf. Is this the... Um... Okay, yeah, these are the... the witch hunters. Right. Uh, okay, so we need to... I mean, this bridge is is decent. As far as a place to defend. So we could set up and just like, just move up to here basically and then let them come at us. Hey, Belsy. That might be the best course of action here because we don't need to like go get, we don't need to go collect warp stone here. Plus, if we did it, we'd have to go, like, all the freaking way around. Like, we'd have to go all the way around this way, and down these stairs, and then over here to get this stuff. It'd be such a long walk. And also, we, like, went through the buildings. But Phil from accounting can't go through. Oh, wait. I'm out of a staircase here. So I suppose we could cut to over here. If we can get through this area, we can cut over here and go down this staircase and loop around into this area. That might work. Because these guys have to either go through this building, I think, or jump down here. Yeah. Plus that wagon is in the way. No, I think we can get down the staircase over there. Go for a count there, zombie there. Try to put my zombies over here on this side. Stack them up. We've got Steve the Pirate. Windmill Clockerson. Terry Two Toes. Dan Griffin. Alright. Let's rock. Let's go check out over here. Pretty sure that's the staircase right there, so we should be good. Also, do we spot anybody going this way? No, not yet. Okay. I was thinking about the heavy armor thing again. Uh, after I got off the stream. And you know, actually having the initiative of your zombies be higher than your vampire is kind of nice. Heck. In some ways. So that way you can kind of tell where your front line is going to be. So your vampire doesn't uh, just like blitz way out in front of your front line, essentially. No, no, no. Heavy armor or vampire. Lord. Because we're switching Super Jimbotron. I'm working on switching Super Jimbotron over to wearing like plate mail.
but it will slow down his initiative a bit. But I don't necessarily think that's a terrible thing overall. Oh yeah, that's right. These guys have the like stupidly strong, um, impressive as well. It's the, the executioner guy. Remember the executioner guy? So we've got to be aware of that. That dude that swings like four times for 70. And lights you on fire. <laughs> totally fair. Direction, yep. Yeah, the executioner guy is not fun. Not a fan. Not a fan. I wonder if he's one of the guys I have to kill. Oh, yeah, look over this way. Going to find out, I guess. Hey, Benny. Who are you playing right now, Battle Sea, in Warhammer 2? Are you still doing Emmerich? Or, uh, are you switched up? One active impressive at a time? Yeah. Weird stones on the menu, boys. Weird stone, the off brand warp stone. Spotted any, any of them yet? No. I see no one. At least we got to be the people starting closely around our wagon, so hopefully we'll catch some of them separated before we get cut to pieces by the executioner. A new round has started. Looking forward to that. All right, Jankles. Lead the way. Yeah, we'll go into this Larry over here. A couple of choke points for us to work with. I see I can't spam them. Yeah, the AI matches up uh, whatever you have. So if I bring an impressive, the AI brings an impressive. If I bring four heroes, the AI brings four heroes. Alright. Could be people over here, potentially. So we have to be a little bit cautious that nobody comes up behind us. We're going to chill here, I think, and go into Overwatch Dance. So yeah, they're only a... The AI can only spam things as much as the player can spam things. Which again, is ultimately good, right? Because that way you don't ever... You're not, you're not fighting against an enemy team that's just like... Bonkers by comparison. I'm not sure if Phil's going to be able to get through here. Cloggerson can, but I'm not sure if Phil's going to be able to. I'm just going to put him in dodge stance over here. 
Alright, Phil. Oh no, he's got plenty of space. Yeah, he's good. Plenty of room. He's just big boned. I mean, I can believe that, considering all of the bones. <laughs> Some of them are not his, but... <laughs> Ba, ba, ba. Trying to step on all these freaky traps or potential traps. And still naked, indeed. Indeed. There we go. Phil works out. Oh, there's a guy. Where's he at? It's over in this building. Dietmar Onnecker. Or Onnecker. So far, I managed to spot one guy. <laughs> Unknown enemy. Oh, we know who you are. We just don't know your name yet. You have a strong man at a day job as an accountant, right? I mean, to be completely fair, there are a lot of people that their job is to work on a computer or something all day long, but they are, like, when they're not doing that, they hang out in the gym all the time, so. There we go. Mr. Onaker, if that is your real name. So we need Constantine and Bartolf. Oh, hi. He's got an axe. Holy... He's probably gonna swing again, too. Yeah, just crit me twice. Just crit me three times, it's fine. Just take me from 100 to zero. fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yep. Those guys are ridiculous. Absolutely broken. Like, I think they're the best impressive in the entire game. A new round has started. Well, hopefully I can take it out. Girly. My high level zombie just got freaking absolutely ruined. The guy just walked up, crit him four times in a row. Cause you know. And we're missing our fr oh, 80 82% chance to hit. Listen, we can't afford to be terrible right now. Save scum. Nope. Alright, chicken man. You're up. Good luck. <laughs> Everybody's just gonna pile drive this guy, or try to. We need to freaking knock him down. <laughs> Flee, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Zombie horde, go! 97 out of 86. Man, like, when you have a 90 or almost 90% chance to hit consistently, and the game is just, like, causing you to whiff, Freaking, I mean, like, this honestly makes sense, because this, this is like 60% chance, that's fair, right? God dang. Okay. I mean, we're still just continually rolling in the high 80s, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> All right. 
I felt. Step in on him. I got one more swing. No, I don't. One pip off. Oh yeah, that's right, I got strong below. Forgot about that. Does he have it? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Oh wait, maybe I, I might not be able to see until I get into melee combat. Yeah, I, okay. There we go. Ninety-one on a die roll. All right, he's gonna get. He's gonna get another turn. He's gonna like kill somebody else. I needed to hit a couple more times with my freaking eighty-something percent chance to hit. So that's cool. So he's just, hopefully he swings at Phil, because Phil actually has the hit points to tank this shit. He's not. It's just that I'm rolling absolutely abysmally. Like, my hit chance is still, like, insanely high. It's not, like, none of my hit chance, other than my, with my bow and arrow, was below, like, freaking, like, 75%. And most of them was like high 80s to low 90s. I just rolled like 90s for hit dice. Just awful freaking die rolls. Please step on the trap. Oh! Of course. Ah. All right. Well, that used up my. Oh no! Wait. He just he just whiffed. Okay, that's good. Ah. All right. Here we go. Succeeded in my dodge roll. Ah. He failed his dodge roll. Ah. Okay, he's spreading out his damage. That's good. All right, cool. Uh, Girly Jankles went down because this guy just rolled up and crit him four times in a row. Because the frickin' Witch Hunter's Impressive is broken. A new round has started. I mean, he's not dead yet. Like, he's, he's out of action. That doesn't mean he's dead. He did take four crits to the face, though, which is not great, obviously. Alright. That was his dodge roll, so... He's not gonna have a dodge roll. Oh, oops. Should've parried. Well, this is a 100% chance to hit. Oh, it's, yeah, we should freaking take out this pyre. Freaking thing boosting people. Dodge stance. Go away. Right. 
Mm -hmm. Got a really bad chance to hit. He had like a 50-50 shot there. Oh well. It's all good. See, that thing's almost down. Let's finish that thing off. Just to get out of here. Screw your pyre of the righteous. All right. Uh, let's see. What's my... Let's do a weapon swap. For the staff. And let's do a call on Phil. Please don't blow yourself up, Steve. That's not what we need right now. Thank you, Steve, for not blowing yourself up. We appreciate you. Touch stance. Strong glow. Yeah. I should probably I should use strong glow second, actually, because um, yeah. the first swing has the dodge chance attached to it. All right, Phil from accounting. Go out and around here. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Hey, guy. Take that, you. Is Dietmar the guy that we need? No, we need Constantine. Hang on a second. That's not the guy. It might be this guy. Bartolf Solmer. Okay, so Bartolf, this guy up here, needs to go down. I mean, for multiple reasons, it needs to go down, but... Specifically for my secondary campaign objective. Hi. <laughs> so on the upshot, at least we were all moving together, so like... That happened, right? But we were all close to each other, so we were able to just, like, gang up on the guy and beat him to death. This is why you want to make sure your warband is, like, not super separated from each other. The great Axe of Spellbinding. All right. Torben. No, we don't need that, but we'll pick it up anyways. Nothing. What do we got? Oh, that's, that's Jankles' stuff. That's fine. Don't really need that stuff, but we're gonna pick up anyways. Because we can. Um we can get right in here, yeah. Swing in on him. Dodge stance. Alright, Peter. Let's get you around to here. There we go. Peter Griffin laying down the crits. My rule, my critical hit success chance was two. So the game's, the game is trying to like, uh, seek forgiveness for the horrendous freaking die rolls on the executioner. <laughs> it's like here, I'll give you a, a crit. <laughs> A very low chance crit. Oh, he failed his all alone check. Succeed his terror check, though. <laughs> Guy's a lot of teeth. Who's that? Fritz Filgerman. We need Constantine. Where's Constantine at? I need to punch that man in the mouth. And then steal his necklace.
There he is. Oh no, he's right here. He's hitting freaking Terry in the face. <laughs> No, the word of damnation. Not that. Anything but that. A new round has started. All right, let us call a Van Hill. Or try to, anyways. Twenty-six percent chance of Zinch's curse. Okay. We are not supposed to cast that, apparently. We're just going to switch weapons. I rolled like an 88 and an 87 on an 85% chance of success. <laughs> okay. Okay. Take it a hint. Shoot this guy in the freaking ankle instead. So, friend, I'm just gonna give you the chops. Okay, so that's Bartolf down. We need to take his necklace off him. Hello, I am Phil. Mmm. I only have. Well, yeah, okay. I mean, there's no reason not to. Because, like, I only get one more swing, so I might as well make it the, the big swing, right? <laughs> Sand is greater than Denny's. Okay, Chicken Man. Chicken Man! Kill Constantine! Cut him down for daring to freaking be a part of the same war band that killed Gurley, or at least knocked Gurley out of action momentarily. <laughs> I'm feeling better. Sandwich of Denny's, but who said Sandwich? Sandwich on the great. Sand sucks, man. I hate sand so much. Like. If you ever had to do, like, do things in a sandy area and not have the capability of, like, getting rid of said sand in an easy fashion, like, that shit's miserable. Oh, I need to pick this guy's stuff up. Objective completed. I got totally Objective get where Anakin's coming updated. from. It just sticks to it. It just sticks to you. You freaking get even a little bit sweaty, and next thing you know, you got sand all over you. Miserable. I'm just gonna go back over here and. Yeah, actually, I should have. Parry stance. Alright, so. You get over here. Strong blow. Oh my gosh, the. Oh, jeez. Uh, somehow, I don't feel like those are good vibrations that we're getting there. Small earthquake. Don't mind us. Objective completed. <laughs> Upon almost making it for recovery, suddenly he felt a sudden horrible twist. Uh, inj injury, die, and unfortunately, unfortunately perished. <laughs> Gestures. <laughs> I need to kill one more guy here. Terry Two Toes is taking quite a bit of damage, so we're gonna back him up here for a second. It wasn't a bonk, it was a straight up stabbing. Let's see, what what is this? Magic resist all alone and fear. Okay, so basically you just lower down magic resist because ghouls don't give a crap about fear or terror or any of that nonsense. Freaking ghoul! Who do you think I am? I eat people! So you think like, you can terrorize me?
Now, if you sent it that executioner after me, I'd become a little bit afraid, but... At least he didn't light me on fire. Hello, sir. 82 out of 71. Oh, now he's taunting me. Listen, I'm having a bad day, okay? Must you? A new round has started. Okay, so... You hit... You hit my ghoul. I just want you to... I just want you to think about what you've done here. Alright. Mm, okay, I guess we'll have to... I wanted to do a regular attack first. Actually, let's do both regular attacks first. Alright. So I'm trying to burn his dodge chance, but he dodged... Or he didn't. Okay, well, we just rolled a really freaking crappy melee attack there anyways. Whatever. <laughs> Is that really winning? I feel like that's not winning. <laughs> Yeah, so what I was trying to do there was burn that guy's dodge. Uh, by hitting him with normal attacks before hitting him with the big attack. But we managed to roll really well on both of our... Uh, both of our attacks, so... Just Naruto running it, yep. We kill this guy that should route the warband unless they get a good die roll on their uh, route. Which I have seen these guys go down to a single freaking unit before. Like these guys don't route easy. in the chest. There we go. Uh, yeah, we'll just chill out then. Cloggerson should be able to run up here and finish the job. Should be enough space for me to get in on this. Yeah. <laughs> Clunk. Yeah, yeah, they have the vengeance stacks or whatever. But it doesn't matter if they are freaking dead. <laughs> Alright, they'll have to take a check here this turn. Terry is just going to chill back here because he's kind of beat up. Yeah, they, they made their route success chance. So the fight continues. We have to bonk more people. The bonking will continue until the, all of you are dead, I guess. A new round has started. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Thank you for the fragments, sir. Let's see what negative effect did we get. 
Ooh, agility, strength, and toughness. That's rough. Alright. Yeah, whatever. We should be fine. Like, we should be able to beat this guy down pretty effectively. Because he's isolated. All alone. 89% chance to shoot. At least we're actually hitting these freaking high chance to hit shots. Roll the 92 on a 61. That's fair, I guess. At least we wasted our um, horrendously bad die roll on a, a fit, basically a 50 shot anyway, so. Do, 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 do. All right, Steve, you got this. Fuddling fumes? What the hell does that do? Range hit chance. Hey, there we go. Perfect. That's exactly what we needed. Still whiffing. 82% chance to hit, but you know, hey. <laughs> Knew he failed his terror check. Strong blow. Guy can't handle his blow. Alright, Phil. Just go stand out in the middle of the street and freaking dare God to come at you. Although I'm pretty sure we killed God earlier and he's laying dead right over there. Alright, Jurley, what happened to you? Oh, we got two master unknown formulas. That's really nice. Your performance has validated the trust Count Vlad has placed in you. Demonstrate your loyalty and enjoy the favor of the Von Karsteins. He just makes a full recovery. Just makes a full recovery. You can't kill a god. Right? What's sweet and intoxicating innocence? He's unpaid, though. It's like, I just got beat down and you haven't paid me yet. I'm mad. <laughs> All right. Surviving the mission. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> he lives! Maybe the game the song is based on. Outstanding. Terry Two Toes making it to level 8. Nice. Peter Griffin. He played dead very well. <laughs> See, he's had a lot of practice. Claude Rousson. three-hour moment of silence and celebration. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. I'm turning off camera and not talking for the next three hours. You guys have fun. Outstanding. Chicken man got to level eight. Doo -doo. Steve the pirate. You know, for how effective Steve the pirate is, the fact that he's at level five is pretty amazing. Remarkable. Remarkable. That is indeed what you say about, uh, about Phil. My gosh. Most valuable warrior? 
dang straight. There we go. What do we get for items? 12 crowns, weaving blades, weird stone fragment, trout of clarity. We got a great actual spell binding as well. And we got a master formula of champions and a master formula of ballistic skill. Off that mission. All right, so we'll pay the warband. There we go. Check a good amount of cash. Okay, uh, let's run through and give everybody their XP. All right, so initiative goes up. Agi goes up. All right, well, I just got maxed out of my initiative, so that's cool, I guess. Chicken man, slowly getting his agi to nine. <laughs> Steve the pirate. Um, yeah, we just give him more, give him more int, I guess. I don't think we need leadership for anything. You know, I guess we just, <laughs> we just make Steve tankier, because <laughs> we don't. He's got to use, keep using that bow, so there's really no reason for him to like. Other than for carrying capacity, there's no real reason for him to have strength. So we're just kind of... Give him more resistances and HP, I guess? List or uh, weapon skill. Weapon. Meaning... Foo! More alertness. Phil swore Agi as well. He maxed out at 20 Agi. It's 20 strength, too. Key Elza. He's only level 4, too. He's got a lot of freaking points to gain yet. Uh, you're injured. Super Chimbertron's still training. Jeremy is still training. Jankles over here. Some more accuracy. Yeah, he's gonna get he's gonna get pretty spooky. People are not going to want to be near him. With good reason. Let's get a few give Terry Tuto some more strength to work with here. I might try to bring his toughness up to like six, potentially. I don't know, we'll see. Strength and alertness. There we go. Good stuff. Oh, Peter Griffin. Cloggerson. And that brings us back around, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's check out that axe. So we got this hammer, right? This just reduces Zinch's curse chance, but it's a 46 for 52 as opposed to a 48 for 52. Bypasses armor. This one has higher critical... The hammer has higher critical hit damage. The axe also has slow on it. Oh wait, no, they both have slow. Never mind. So I mean, the hammer is much better if you actually crit, but my crit chance is what eight percent. So probably, so the armor bypass is probably going to be better in general. There we go. And the cinch's curse chance thing doesn't matter because obviously. Steve! Alright. Um, what is the mark of champions? What is that on? Mark of memory. Match resist. Increase chance to parry by 5%. Must be an armor thing. It's gotta be an armor thing. Yeah, it just costs gold. And you have to have a formula for it. What the heck does it go on? Maybe it's a necklace thing? 
Uh, I got a, I got champions and something else. I forget what the other one is. Maybe I can't see it because it's a. Hang on. Oh yeah, there's two accuracy and max accuracy, two weapon skill and max weapon skill. Oh yeah, we got the skill, the mark of champions and the mark of ballistic skill. Four ballistic skill and max ballistic skill. <laughs> Cannot surpass 20. I mean, two accuracy and max accuracy. Yeah, the ballistic one is pretty sick, isn't it? And then two weapon skill and max weapon skill. So that should bring his weapon skill up to 17. Which is pretty good. And accuracy goes up to by two. So I bring him up to seven accuracy. <clears throat> I guess the question is, is there anything else that we'd like to put on that? Okay, so this one, so the weapons, the mark of weapon skill gives a plus four to weapon skill, but it doesn't do accuracy, obviously. Strength and max strength and weapon skill. Alertness. I mean, we could just slap it on there, I guess. This is all basically just stat increases, it looks like. Just varying different kinds of stat increases. So sure. Just slap that on him for right now. And we give this to somebody else once he gets the better stuff, obviously. I don't have any of that stuff yet. And we don't have any purple shield things yet, either. And unfortunately... don't have anything for the bow. Any better bows? Nah. Nope. Don't have any better shirts or anything, do we? No. Max of expertise increases melee hit chance by three. Sure. Sounds good. Any better staves? No. It's as good as that's getting at the moment. I think the critical hit chance increases better than the actual increase the critical hit damage because the likelihood is low. Twenty-three to twenty-nine. Twenty-six to thirty. This gives plus ten initiative though, so keep that on him. Intelligence and max accuracy. Agility and max agility. Leadership. Eh. Whatever. Parry. Don't care. Magic resist. Eh. Whatever. Just a bunch of whatever stuff there. We still don't have any weapon stuff, so whatever. Right. Okay. Um, so we're going to have like four people finishing learning skills. Are any skills that we want to throw on? Are any skills we want to throw on to windmill here? 
He has strong blow. He's got awareness. He only got two skill points, so I'd like to like or I'd like to increase awareness. But he needs two more points for that, so. He needs 15 alertness for it as well. Four unspent skill points here. Though we're minus the intelligence, it takes what he needs one more ballistic skill to do, the bullseye. Wait, quick reload. Could do quick reload. Reduce that by another strategy point. That's a really nice one to have. Heh, 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 heh. <sighs> that stuff is probably about as good as it's gonna get here, obviously. Like a web of steel. Hang on a second. Um. Scout could come back. That'd be skills. We could give Jankel's web of steel, which gives um increased parry chance. Or you get two parries. So yeah, we'll have him learn, start learning Web of Steel. And I think Scout just finished learning Web of Steel. Yeah, he did. Form a Ring of Steel! Alright, so... You trade with Scout. You trade with Dick Halfmast. And we can't trade anybody else out right now. What do you got for skills? Weak spot, knowledge tactics, and avoid. Oh yeah, he's got the extra 10% dodge, dodge chance. That's nice. I don't think there's any, like, two-point skill that's worth him learning anymore at this point. Swift counter. Flash parry. Shield specialist. No. Um... got five here. Let's see, how much does it take to swing this? It's like three, I think, right? So we could... Let's see, how... Hmm. How many turns does this take to learn? Two days? Okay. So we can't do that right now. But we could give my ghoul strong blow as well, because of the way their points work out anyways. <laughs> just, just, just hitting yourself in the hand. Hey, ah! <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> okay. Um, let's. We spent a lot of money on skills, so let's ditch some more clusters here. do that for right now. We'll keep our we'll keep our shards in case Vlad starts asking us for things. Alright, next day. Let's go. Alright. So, Super Jimbotron has learned armor proficiency. Dick Halfmaster has learned quick reload. Ankles of Hulan has learned awareness. Girly Jankles has learned quick draw. Mike, or Wyke Mizowski has recovered from their light wounds and can once again take part in missions. Two warriors currently training. Shipment you sent to the Black Pit is already there and back, and we're at almost two grand again. Sweet. So Vlad has not given us another mission yet. Jeez, always Vlad, come on. Give us another story mission. We need to advance the plot. Okay, um... I want 
want to put Phil away and take out two heroes instead? Or we want to keep rolling with Phil right now? Hang on a second, does he have... He has quick draw, right? Yes, he does. Okay. She's level four. She's level five. What's Phil? Phil's level four. Okay. He's level three. He really needs to get out there. Um. Let's take it. Put you down here. Take it, Put you up here. And then... Phil has some uh, paperwork he needs to take care of. So he's gonna... He's gonna flop out for a second. Do, do, do. What do we got for campaign missions? What are we looking at here? <sighs> One board went to play Tyler and Swag, the other scattered randomly. No. Tyler and Swag, the other scattered randomly. Both warbirds are scared randomly. All right, we're sending scouts. <laughs> scattered randomly, scattered randomly, scattered randomly, scattered. We're send more scouts. One deploys tightwire on the wagon while the rest, everybody else is scattered randomly. Missions where you're scattered randomly is how you get people killed. Like, so I'm trying to avoid it. I'm going to spend even more money. One more random type of wagon scattered, scattered randomly. One more type of wagon is scattered randomly. One more random type of wagon scattered, scattered, scattered randomly. This is sort of more scattered randomly. This is scattered randomly. Okay, game. You can F off with that crap. We're just going to the next day. <laughs> hey, we got a mission request from Vlad. All right, cool. One is okay. Yeah, but you're not guaranteed... Um, like, if you're the scattered team, legitimately, you could have, like, one guy that's like, spawns next to their entire warband... And then all the rest of your guys are like way the heck over here, right? And if they're if you happen to go up against uh, freaking vampires or something, and they can move ridiculously fast, it's basically just saying that guy is going to die or Skaven. It's like you just lose a guy. <laughs> a new mission is available. All right, the remnants of mysterious arcane experiment may prove to be a great benefit to cult Vlad's necromancy within the ruined halls of Count Steinhardt's palace. A set of scrolls. From Nekahara have been hidden away. Scrolls that contain the ancient ritual of lich priests. Securing their knowledge may enable Vlad to magnify the efficiency of his own rituals and endow a greater vitality under his undead armies. In addition, rumor of this strangely potent purple weird stone found within the old palace reached Baroness Katrina. It seems there's odd colored shards or even better conductors of dark magic than the temple variety. Recovering them is priority. You're trusting me to... You're, you're asking me to trust RNG, Dedrane. You're asking me to trust RNG. I miss... a tremendous amount... of my 95% chance to hits. I do not... I just, I just don't feel like going to Vegas. <laughs> fine we get a, we have a campaign mission now which I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go on here actually all right um so let's get Jimbotron in here then oops 
General Tron back, large and in charge. Both scared made you stop playing. That is entirely fair. Yeah, I don't think I would. So, like, I'm very, very apprehensive to take any scattered missions from either side, but both scattered is like, I would, I would absolutely never even consider it. <laughs> we got a ton of money, so it's not like we're really in a big, like, we're getting pinched here or anything, so. I have range spot and guys next to their melee guys. Whew. Okay, let's make sure that we're, we're geared up correctly here. I want to wait until I have the second tier of this, I think, before I give him his, his higher tier armor. One of the alarms are busted, it's going off and repeat. That sounds miserable. Those al alarms are usually really insanely loud, too. Where's our actual... Our warband rating is 2,197. Okay, so our warband rating is higher than the... the mission. So we should be okay. Well, I mean, should be okay. All right. I think... Rad requires an ancient ritual scroll rumored to be kept in Count Steinhardt's palace. Uh, I got to act two, two for mercs. Act two, three is very brutal. Yeah, I imagine things are just going to get freaking worse and worse around here. So, uh, yeah. Let's go in on it. What could possibly go wrong? Wait a second. Uh, we're gonna do this real quick though. We're gonna take the higher level thrall with us. Take like ankles of Hulahan instead of uh, White Mizowski <laughs> over here. I mean, they've got fairly comparable... Well, actually, freaking Mike has strong blow as well. <laughs> it's an argument that... Let's see. I mean, Ankles has more HP, I guess. Twenty-five resist, twenty... Eh, okay. We might as well take our highest level people in here. Launch the mission. I have been researching the history of Mordheim, and in that study, I have found many fascinating accounts of the city's rulers. One record relates that Count Steinhardt engaged the services of a warlock to preserve his favorite pet when it died. <laughs> Through arcane rites, the conjurer was able to stave off the effects of decay and endow the body with suppleness and pliability so that it might be posed and reposed to suit the Count's whims. It is certain Fair that the enough. Warlock employed necromancy to effect such magic. Further, from other accounts I've discovered that he performed his ritual by consulting a set of papyrus scrolls plundered from the pyramids of desolate Nehekara. What secrets of the leash priests the Warlock deciphered are unknown to me, but it is certain they remain within the palace. After seeing the warlock's magic, Count Steinhardt developed a terror of the man and had him executed before he could leave the Count's service. I have prepared a death ward that should prove useful in negating whatever magics the warlock used. Once these etheric <laughs> conduits are docile, they must be gathered along with the Nehekaran scrolls. Together, these will make a grand tribute for Count Vlad, and will go far in assisting his own plans. There are rumors of a strange purple weirdstone that has been found in the palace by those bold enough to venture there. It is said this strange weirdstone is an even greater conductor of dark magic than the usual variety. These shards must be collected and sent to Drakenhof. They cannot be left for others to find, those who may not share the ambitions of the Von Karsteins. 
So I'm a big fan of all of the like Slaneshi symbols on the wall here. Nothing could possibly go wrong. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. It's just Slanesh. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's time to steal cursed treasures. Yeah, steal for the Doom Kings. Never, never was there a problem with that. Like they, they're cool with it. You just steal their stuff. They're, they're pretty chill. Uh, do I plan to do another faction if I finish this one? Possibly, possibly. If I'm still having fun and chat's still enjoying it. Um, it'd be cool to see what some other war bands have to have to offer as well. Murder, Sex, and Two Kings. The true combo. Right. It's like the hat trick or something, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, I gotta use a latrine before I start this, because this mission is... Usually missions last for like an hour or something. So, I need to... Uh, I'm gonna get some more water, and I'm gonna pee before we start this. Let's be here for a while. So, I'll be back. <laughs> 